Oh, it is a thing to behold. Janine Hutting joins us again to blow our minds with another beautiful breed of dog. This is Libra. She is enchanting. And as I was saying just now, quite goofy as well. Um, a Bernese mountain dog. I'm assuming quite a rare breed of dog, certainly here in South Africa. Difficult to come by. Um, it's a specialized breed. You know, people see a big dog and they, they reckon, oh, you know, uh, it's not an outside dog. This is not an outside dog. If you want an unhappy person, an unhappy dog, that's what you do. You leave them outside. If you want a garden that's destroyed, I have no, a absolutely. <laughs> uh, this, this is, you know, the, this is an absolute working breed. It's, it's built to work. So you've got to, you've got to socialize with this dog. You've got to bond with this dog. You've got to deal, you know, physically with this dog. Otherwise, you're going to have a problem. Um, take us back uh, uh, into to history. How, how did the breed come about? It has quite a, a long and illustrious yes, history. Yeah. Give us a bit of background. You know, there's some fanciers that believe that this breed is actually about 2,000 years old. Wow. Um, and they, they named after the canton of Bern in Switzerland. And it is thought that, um, you know, the Romans brought the Mastiffs with their military expeditions. Mm. And these Mastiffs bred with um, some dogs in Switzerland. But others have other views, you know. But this is the result. Um, and um, they were used extensively in Switzerland. Um, the, the farmers called them. They were actually known as the poor man's horse. Um, oh. Yeah, they were. They are a draft dog, and you know, um, they were on the farms. They were watchdogs. They were family members. They took the, the, the dairy products down to the cities, to the, to the dairies there. And then, of course, the Industrial Revolution happened, and they almost became extinct. And it's, we, we've, we owe a huge debt um, to people like Professor Helm um, and others like him, who in the late 19th century actually did their utmost to prevent to this dog yeah, yeah. From, from becoming extinct. It would have been a, a terrible loss. She really yeah, does have a wonderful absolutely. nature. So, um, how do we get around this work dog element? How do we make sure that she is getting the kind of stimulation that she needs and the kind of exercise that she needs? How do you how do you go about this? This is not a dog that you're going to keep in a, in an apartment, not at all. Um, ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Libra, that's it. It's um, you know, and um, you need to just be positive. Um, work with them. I mean, if you want a working dog, that's what you're going to have to be prepared to do. You know, um, go out with them, show them. You know, um, so people can get to know the kind of the kind of dog that they actually. Is that quite with. competitive? Eh? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, all she needed to hear was the word. Um, getting into the particulars of the breed and owning it here in South Africa, what do you have to be aware of? What do you need to have prepped before you even start thinking about owning a dog like this? Well, you need to have. You need to have a sizable property. Okay. Um, and you need to understand that you're going to have to do some form of work with this dog, whether it's, you've got to socialize, of course, you know, um, whether you're going to show yeah. them um, or do therapy work with them, put that, you know, when we put them in a cart, once they are mature enough and they've done a bit of obedience and they, you know, they just love that is what they were bred to do. They are a drafting dog, you know. Yeah. So, um, but she says, um, I'm very intelligent, she says, but you must yeah. always do it positively and you've got to treat me when you when we're, when I've got to work for you, yes. Um, okay, and I, I understand she likes a little coffee. And she likes coffee. We'll, yes. we'll organise you a cappuccino. <laughs> Janine, thank you so much. This is one enchanting dog and a lovely breed. Just make sure you have a big property and you are willing to bond with this beautiful thing. She's absolutely beautiful. The Bernese Mountain Dog. Thank you so Stunning. much for coming through. Thank you. Really do appreciate it. Guys, what do you think of my new best friend? Let's take a quick break. We'll see you on the other side. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs.